the situation at the moment and uh, for a little bit more analysis on the political situation in the country we're now joined on the line by the country's former finance minister and uh, also a political head in the country and that's uh, Tendai Biti. Uh, looks like we've just uh, lost him on the line but we're going to try and call him back and now if, uh, Tendai Biti uh, was the finance minister when the uh, ZANU-PF and MDC were forced into a government of national unity mm. and so that what we saw then one of the first things that it, he did was to get rid of the Zimbabwe dollar because it had did that that hyperinflation world record hyperinflation Inflation disappeared, the economy stabilized, and everything calmed down. Mm. And everybody Until the started. bond notes. Well, then what happened was um, this government of national unity ran for a term, and then as soon as that term finished, people had this hopes that um, the MDC would come out of this and win an election. But of course, mm. ZANU PF won by huge mm. amounts. And uh, so we're back again to this scenario. But let's uh, see if we've got uh, the former finance minister on the line now. Mr. Beatty, thank you very much for joining us and uh, welcome to the program. Uh, perhaps I can just start by asking your take. As someone who's been in government, has worked uh, closely uh, with the, a lot of the characters that are in this particular story at the moment, what's your take about the political, uh, the stability of the country uh, after uh, former Vice President Mnangagwa's uh, uh, firing? Well, the country was, was already unstable. Uh, Mnangagwa's firing doesn't change or make uh, the situation in the uh, we, we have been arguing that uh, the country is on a knife edge, on a, a, a precip. Uh, there is a multiple convergence uh, of so many different uh, crises. We've got an economic, uh, crippling economic uh, crisis. Uh, we have uh, a crisis of uh, social delivery. We have a crisis of the broken down uh, social contract. We have a crisis of a government that is paralyzed uh, by succession. We have a crisis of uh, a, a president who is 94 years of age and who is just hanging on. So t toxic succession uh, is uh, uh, poisoning uh, our country. I don't think that uh, in, the, in the recent history uh, of our country, this country has been uh, more fragile and more vulnerable as it is right now. In fact, as a student of history, the only time that I can remember the state being so vulnerable uh, was way back in 1450, when, was, when the last of the Mwenemi Tapas died, uh, and there were like five, six uh, houses that were seeking to succeed him, and, and 50 years of war uh, followed. So the state is very vulnerable. The state is very weak, and Emerson Mnangagwa's uh, expulsion is just a further example of the vulnerability and fragility of the state. Uh, wh who would you say is uh, running the country at the moment and who's backing him? You know, we're hearing war vets saying uh, Mugabe, that... Mugabe, Mugabe is in total uh, control, uh, but of course uh, 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 he's under the toxic influence of, 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 of his wife, but he's in total, total, uh, you know, control. Uh, but quite clearly the two of them uh, are, are busy uh, uh, supplanting uh, a democratic polity uh, in our country. Where do the armed forces fit into this equation? Are they following him blindly or are they waiting for whoever leads to follow them? Well, I think that uh, there's been a myth uh, spread that uh, Emerson controls the army. That, that's just a myth. Uh, but what I can assure you is that, of course, there is an unhappiness uh, in, 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 in the army and in state institutions. Uh, one of the most unfortunate uh, uh, things uh, of this uh, elite rupture is the return of uh, ethno-nationalism in Zimbabwe, or simply put, uh, tribalism. Uh, you know, the, the, the move against Mnangagwa is seen in many circles and by many ordinary Zimbabweans as a very tribal act and a reconfirmation uh, of the Zuru uh, supremacy. So it, it's very uh, unhappy and regrettable that uh, ZANU is taking Zimbabwe to a level, and ZANU and Mugabe are taking Zimbabwe to a level where we thought we had passed, and that's the level of uh, ethno-nationalism. Uh, so this elite rupture uh, is, is creating a terrible uh, multiplier across the country. 
All right. Mr. Beatty, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed uh, for your time. I know that uh, uh, Mr. Beatty will be in Johannesburg sometime mm -hmm. next week. Hopefully we might be able to get him in studio just to give us an update. But uh, that's, that's where we're going to have to end. Um, not just our wrap of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. but uh, this program. Yeah, thank you for being with us. Uh, we leave you with weather, sports, and we'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. We're going to take a quick break, and then it's the sports journalist <laughs> of the year. Sorry, I forgot. Taviso Sitole. <laughs>